Guys, the chicken is here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, let's head on over to the Warships Island and see what we got in store for today. So, we have pretty well made it to rank 17. Well, we have made it to rank 17, but we had a couple issues there and ended up back behind rank 17. So, we're going to try to um, spice things up a little bit here. And uh, I also have a ton of upgrades to do. So, let's start off the video with the upgrades. Now, I ended yesterday's and I asked you guys what you wanted me to do. And some of you said Scorchers, some of you said Single Target stuff. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to unlock the Scorchers, but I don't think I'm going to use them. I think I'm going to unlock the Scorchers just to get the gunboat energy. Um, so we're going to go like this. And that's going to... Oh, 70. I thought it said 10. Okay, so the, the, the next time we're going to be able to, do, to get that. So in terms of upgrades, let's go with... Um, we need to do some offensive stuff because our offense is getting a little weak here guys so let's go ahead and upgrade uh do we want to do troop damage what's that 158 that'll allow us to do something defensive as well 240 for a max shock launcher um you know what guys i might just say screw it and upgrade the shock launchers um it's not going to get us another one but uh i think that's going to help out of everything that we can do right now i think that's probably going to help the most uh so let's upgrade that so now we have max shock launchers, and what else can we do? What else can we do? We can upgrade boom mines. It's not really that uh, important. Uh, artillery. Okay, let's upgrade artillery as well um, and get that uh, going for us because I do pretty well use artillery in every single battle. All right, so here we go. So we got the six riflemen, we got the two boats of medics, and let's see what kind of trouble we can get into for today's video, guys. So uh, pushing up to rank 17, getting some upgrades going. And looking for an opponent. Okay, here we go. So with the chicken versus someone that's evil. Uh, all right. So what do we want to do here? Let's go with. Um, I think we just go. Hmm. This is tough. This is actually really tough because he's got so many defenses all piled in together. Let's just go right at it from this side. I think. And I'm gonna keep the shock launcher down, and we're gonna get some second wind spam going here. Uh, so let's go like this and like that and just keep these guys down on this side uh, We'll damage up everything else a little bit as we go Let's get a health pack going in here to help with these mines And then we're going to shock right about in there and keep those mortars off of us uh, Okay, that flamethrower is gonna be an issue uh, Yeah, this is why I wanted to go with the flamethrowers first. Let's go one two artilleries right there um, that's almost gonna take, uh, we're not gonna get a single engine room on this one, guys. We're just getting roasted and toasted right off the bat. Come on, I put that artillery down there. So, unfortunately, that is going to be, uh, whew, man, that was bad. Let's just get out of this one. Um, that base was not meant for riflemen. Uh, there's just too much stuff piled in together, uh, unfortunately. So, I mean, unless this guy just has a disconnect or something, I don't see how we're gonna win this battle. Um, he is going in right now, so I guess we can watch him live here, but, uh, I mean, I don't see how he can't at least get that one single engine room, uh, so I think chicken is, uh, I think we're out of luck on this one, guys, I think we're out of luck, unless this machine gun and this mortar can really pull something off here for us. He also already knows that we retreated, so all he has to do is hit that one engine room, which I'm sure he's gonna be able to do. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna wait for that to finish up before we get into the next one. Um, okay, so we're going to... Uh, just chill for a sec here. And, uh, yeah, so let me know down below in the comments, guys, how your warships, uh, attacks are going. What, what do you think of warships so far? Uh, and everything like that. Now, hopefully we are able to get past 17. Now, it's gonna be a bit of a grind before we get to the next, uh, the next tier. Because this is all the golden tier, which means you get the same chests, um, from 17 to 20. So, even at 21. Uh, okay. So, let's, uh... Let's get back into it here, guys. We got OP hitting us up on the Discord. Uh, big shout out to OP. And let's go... Um, okay, this one. Let's go 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Kavon. And I'm going to go... Raj, 1, 2, Artilleries. And let's go some Dr. Uh, Kavon Winders. Uh, coming in up the rear. Now, I'm feeling okay about this base, I think. So far, anyways. Um, so let's go like this, and we'll get all the riflemen nice and healed up. So we're basically going to, now what I'm going to do here is I am going to flare them a little bit more together. I am trying to keep the troops a little bit, uh, less spread out on these, on these larger bases. You kind of have to do that. It's not like the smaller bases before where you could just kind of let everyone just run around. 
Um, that's not a good strategy when you get uh, to the higher level uh, warship spaces. So next we can go, I think I'm just going to keep them uh, as is. Uh, okay, what do we need to do here? So we're going to shock these machine guns. Uh, keep those guys down. Keep these guys nice and healed up. Let's go with a barrage in here on this machine gun just to help with the, some of that damage. Um, okay, now we're going to shock again over here on this side. Uh, that, uh, that engine room is going to go down. So then we're going to collect everyone up here. Because uh, I think we have a better chance of getting these two engine rooms up on the top than we do uh, fighting through all those machine guns down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Uh, they do have us down to two engine rooms on their side, but I think that's going to be okay. Alright, so now basically all we have to fight through here is the machine gun and the mortar. I'll let the mortar peck away at us a little bit, um, and then we're going to hit it with the shock. Uh, and then we're going to be coming up here. I don't think his mines are very high level, so we're going to be able to get some work done with that. Um, and then from here, once we hit this engine room, I think we're just going to come down naturally along the bottom here. Uh, again, I'm not worried about time on these battles. It's almost purely uh, more so about engine rooms. Um, so let's go with a second win here just to put us in a good uh, spot. So you see how handy the second win is 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 right here. It's, it's almost like, that's almost one quarter of my army is just purely second win troops. So uh, if you're using riflemen, I would say second win, or even Zookas, um, you know, some sort of... Uh, Heavy Zooka or, or Rifle, which is basically what all what everyone is using. Um, I would say Second Wind is probably the most helpful ability um, as you progress through the later stages. The earlier stages, um, you're probably better off Battle Wars because it's more about speed, but it, it again, it comes down to the base, right? So, um, so yeah, there we go. We got, uh, we got a solid win right there, I think. I'm pretty sure that guy's done attacking our base. And if not, I'm not really sure what he's doing, but uh, I, I'm feeling okay about this one, guys. Uh, and that's going to help us uh, get a couple stars towards our star chest. Uh, the opponent has retreated. Okay. I kind of wish that this went a little bit faster. I feel like I'm always kind of stuck on the screen. Boom! Extra star win for first one of the day. So that is something can point out due to my New Zealand time zone. That it says that at 5 o'clock um, as opposed to the actual first one of the day. But uh, but that's okay. So, Alright, so let's get one more battle in here, guys. See if we can open up this, uh, this gold tier chest for you. And... Uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, oh, we got Kratos. Uh, hopefully the matchmaking is friendly to us. We got a lot of machine guns. This base looks a little bit harder than the last one. Uh, what do we want to do here, chicken? What do we want to do here? Let's go. I think we go across the bottom because there's three engine rooms uh, across that side. One, two, three, four. And then we'll go Dr. Kavon. And I'm going to go ahead and take this down. We're going to get a second wind going as well. I'm going to eat the splash damage just for a moment. Then we're going to hit it with a shock and a med kit. And then that should put us in pretty good position here to, uh, let's go like that. Okay, we're able to clip that mortar as well. Let's get another second one going. We want to keep the pressure on here while we're up uh, around uh, most of his defenses. Take down the flamethrower. Let's move over this way and get rid of these flamethrowers. Hopefully the medics can help us out a little bit there. And that mortar doesn't just absolutely destroy us. Oof, okay, that was a little bit painful, but that's okay. Yeah, the level 1 flares definitely need to get upgraded as well. Okay, down goes Kavon, but that's not the end of the world. Uh, okay, we're going to shock that flamethrower, that machine gun, and that mortar, and we're just going to plow right on through this, guys. Uh, the medics also could use a bit of a boost, uh, but we keep putting that off in the sake of, uh, of, of defense. I really think that if you're going to skew one way, I, I feel like defense is the way to do it. Um, but I guess we'll find out here in a, in a moment's time. Uh, okay, let's go with a shock right there. And let's go lay everybody up here. And let's go a health pack in the center. Take down that mortar, please. Um, okay, so I don't have enough flares to go back down. So let's go up. Uh, okay, he's got us 2-2. Two to two. I don't think we're going to be able to win this one, guys. If he's still going strong. Uh, I think this is just about where our raid ends here, unfortunately. Uh, let's go with an artillery on that machine gun to help us out a little bit with some damage. Man, those mortars coming at bad times. Uh, okay, well, maybe he'll get stuck at two and we can out-destruction him, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that looks like that is where it's about to end. Uh, okay, so medics are going to go down. Now, here's the trick, guys. I'm not going to retreat even though the battle's done. One, because I have endless reserves, so the truth don't matter. Um, two, if I retreat and he, and he knows he just needs to get one more engine room, he might... Um, 
have a better chance than uh oh okay here we go oh my god he beat my one percent come on supercell that's ridiculous that's absolutely absurd all right let's do one more battle let's do one more battle here guys let's see what uh, what we can come away with okay let's go um all right this one looks a little bit uh, a little bit better uh let's start off going on this side and we'll go Kavon, we'll get a couple second winders joining the battle. Uh, let's go uh, Barrage here. And an artillery. And we'll go Barrage right there. Those flamethrowers look uh, pretty low level, so I think we're going to be okay on those ones. Uh, to eat a little bit of damage. Yeah, they're not really ripping through us all too that much. All too that much, that makes sense, chicken. Uh, let's go health pack right about here. Um, okay, so we should be able to just kind of, uh, power our way through this, is what I'm thinking. Uh, let's go bar uh, barrage over here, and let's just start ripping through this guy's base. And we'll take some artilleries. Now, I might need a, uh, okay, I think the mags are gonna come in strong there. Uh, we'll go, one more artillery should be able to do the job. Okay, there we go. That's gonna take down that shock launcher, and what do we gotta focus on next? Um... I think we're okay. I think we can just go with med packs. Uh, he's got us down to three, but we got him down to two. Um, so let's keep this going. Rock and rolling, clucking and ducking. We'll get another second win going. Okay, he's going too as well. Um, all right, so now this might come down to speed because I think we are going to push through the space here, guys. Let's go with the shock right about there. Keep those machine guns off us. Uh, keep those mortars off us as well. Uh, let's go a health pack over here because I don't like the look of that machine gun and all those mortars. Uh, together they can pack a pretty good punch so we're gonna come down I think we're gonna come down on the left and we're gonna we're gonna split up our troops here I think they are strong enough to get away with that for now um, okay they aren't gonna go to go uh, get the job done down there uh, okay come on let's go let's go let's go and we're gonna go like this now that's a pretty excellent machine gun placement he has right there it's actually behind the engine room uh, if we're able to take down these defenses, I might just flare onto it because that is going to be uh, a, a tricky situation. We do have enough medics that they might be able to out heal it, but uh, it's going to be close. Okay, so now all we have to do is come back down and... Okay, let's get away from that machine gun. We don't need to get any closer to it. And we do have a shock here as well. So I'm going to go... I think we need another flare, unfortunately. Okay, that's going to be fine. Uh, now I can't do anything else because we need those medics. Now I, I need them to get hit by this mortar here. Um, and then let's go with a shock right there. Medics, come on, join the party, please. Alright, so we got all the riflemen on. Is it gonna be enough? Is it gonna be enough? This mortar's gonna do some work to us. It's not one shotting the riflemen, which is saving us. So him not upgrading the mortar, we are able to come away with the victory, I think, unless this guy's got something up his sleeve over here on uh, on the chicken space. But it looks like we're able to hold strong there, I think, guys. Boom, there it is. Engine room, one left. Let's take a quick replay here. See if maxing out those shock launchers did actually help us at all. Uh, he was coming in with rifles and zookas. Uh, an interesting combo, to say the least. Um, and he's got bullet, too? Okay. So he is pretty... Uh, he probably has more tech points or whatever they're called than I do. Um... Yeah, so he got he, he tried to get a little bit too fancy and tried to split up his troops. Um, and he went for barrage on that top engine room, which I think he did actually get, or he got this one. Uh, so that could have been very close, because uh, if he was able to get a little bit more gumbo energy, he was only a couple of artilleries from getting that down. So that could have gone either way for sure. So we made it to rank 17, guys. Let's open up this uh, rank 17 chest. And we'll get a quick screen grab there. And look at that, guys. 175. Oh, we had a bit of a technical difficulty there. We check, check, check. We got 175,000 upgrade tokens. I do promise you that. Uh, capture card? Are you crapping out on us? I don't know what's going on. Either way, that's going to wrap it up the video today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, for everything that's worship, worships, make sure to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, the next video, we're going to be upgrading some stuff with the uh, upgrades that we did just get. It didn't just glitch out. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think of that down below in the comments, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next week, guys. Check it out, Cracker.